Hi, in this video we will be discussing a very famous password cracking tool called John the Ripper which is developed by OpenWall. This tool is designed to crack password hashes. It uses a wide range of built-in programs, rules, and codes, making it a comprehensive package. One of its notable capabilities is its ability to automatically detect different types of password hashes. This feature saves time and effort by eliminating the need for manual identification. This tool offers customization options, allowing users to tailor its settings according to their preferences. With its robust set of features, including hash detection, customization, and compatibility with compressed files, John the Ripper Password Cracker Tool proves to be a valuable asset for security assessment and password strength testing. This flexibility ensures that it can be optimized for various cracking scenarios. Another advantage is that it can crack passwords for compressed files, including popular formats such as zip, RAR, doc, and PDF. This expands its utility beyond standard password cracking tasks. What is John the Ripper used for and who use this tool? The penetration testers, ethical hackers, security experts, and other security professionals use this tool to find weak algorithms and then make them strong so they cannot be hacked. Hackers use it to crack multiple accounts and simply crack their credentials. Security experts use it to strengthen their encryption. It can also be used for hacking shells and passwords. How to install John the Ripper This tool is already present in Kali Linux and other Linux-based operating system. And can we run by opening the terminal and running the John command? But in case if John the Ripper is not installed in your Linux system, you can install it by running this command in your terminal sudo apt get installed John. If you are using different Linux distributions like Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, etc., then you can install it by running the below single command. The difference in command only will be the package manager. For example, for Ubuntu, you use apt, Arch uses Pacman, and Red Hat uses Yum. So we will replace our desired package manager name in this command according to our device. Now John the Ripper is also available. For other platforms like Windows, BSD, Mac and similar, we can download John the Ripper tool from the official website of OpenWall which is openwall.com. Now before diving deep into the practical usage of John the Ripper tool, let's first understand what is hashing and what is a hash function. Hashing is the process of converting an input of any length into a fixed size string of text using the mathematical function called the hash function, that is any text, no matter how long it is, can be converted into any random combination of numbers and alphabets through an algorithm. For example, if we have some input and we gave it to some hash function and we get hash value which is a fixed size string of random characters. Now the message to be hashed is called the input and the algorithm that encrypts string into hash is called the hash function and the output is called the hash value. Now there can be many formulas that can be used to hash a message. Now let's understand the hashing process with the real life example. First let's see what would be the consequences if no hashing algorithm is used for password storage. In this case the password is stored directly in the database as a plain text file. Now if the system is compromised, it can lead to easy reading of the password, like any hacker can read the password in plain text because it is not encrypted and the password is saved in the same string format as it was entered. This is the syntax for such a case. We have a password, we save it in plain text format in some file, and it is stored in the database. For example, if we have a password black rose, it is stored in the file as it is and the file is stored in the database. Now this system there and the passwords are stored is compromised by some bad attacker or hacker. 
he or she can easily read the password. What would be the benefit of using some hash algorithm for storing passwords? Whenever we set our password, it will take our password as an input string, and with the help of hashing function, it converts the password into a hash. The hash is just a random combination of numbers and alphabets and stores it in the database. Now this enhances the security by encrypting the input strings. Our passwords will be served in different formats so no one can read it even if our system has been compromised. So if we give the password black rose as an input it will be converted to some jumble characters like this one and these random combination of characters which is called hash will be stored in the database. Now let's see the different types of hashing algorithms supported by John the Ripper. John the Ripper tool is able to perform various attacks and crack a lot of hash formats. We can check all the formats that are supported by John the Ripper with this command. John space dash dash list equal formats and when we run this command it will give all the algorithms of hashing that are supported by John. Now let's see how John the Ripper works and what are the two main attacks performed by John the Ripper. The main objective of John the Ripper is to crack passwords. There are many ways that can be supported, but it is mainly known for dictionary attacks. However, we can also run other types of attacks like brute force attacks, rainbow table attacks, and so on. Dictionary attacks. This is the most popular and most usable attack in John the Ripper. In this attack we use predefined words or list of words that can be used to crack the password. This attack uses the words from the word list. Word list is a text file having predefined words and matches every single word from the list with the password to crack in the sequence. Brute first attacks. If you are using this attack, then you have to do the configuration of few things before it's used, such as defining the minimum and maximum lengths of the password, defining possible characters that you want to test during the correcting process like special characters, alphabets, and numbers. For example, matching string that you are using for cracking passwords should include uppercase, alphabet, special characters and numbers like these ABC32 at sign and dollar symbol. The user gets a password on the successful match but this effective process is slow. For example a 10 character password including upper and lower letters along with the numbers and special characters will take over 10 years to be guessed by a computer.